Hello, this video tutorial looks at the mixture composition document in Euclid for the reporting of substance and mixture in mixture components in a poison centre notification. This tutorial is a follow on and assumes you have already set up a mixture dataset for the notification. Let's start by creating a mixture composition document using the navigation tree. The mixture composition document will contain links to all the datasets of the substance and mixture in mixture components contained in the final product. First, we add a new item to the list. To initiate a link to a substance dataset, I make the substance selection in the name field. This directs me to the list of all the substance datasets I have already prepared or imported, so I can reuse this data by making a selection or create a new substance dataset if it is not present. Let's look at how to create one. First, I provide the name of my substance. A legal entity is required to make the data set in Euclid, but it is not required information for Poison Centre notifications. So, you can select your own legal entity, or you can create a non-specific one for this purpose. What is important to note here is that a link to a reference substance is required. If the reference substance is not available in your working instance, then it can easily be created. First, by entering the reference substance name, and in most cases, making a selection from the EC inventory. Where the substance EC number is not listed, you will have to provide other reference substance information to identify your substance. Once a substance has been linked to a reference substance, a concentration needs to be provided. You can use the exact concentration in the typical concentration field, or you can use a composition range. Now the component has been added to the composition document. We can expand the contents of the mixture composition document and see the information contained in the substance dataset, including the reference substance. You will also see here a classification and labelling section for the substance has been generated. This indicates that a document needs to be created and the classification provided. Note that the labelling is not required for substances. Let's navigate back to the mixture composition document. We will now take a look at how to add a mixture in mixture component. Again, we add a new item. 
this time making the selection in the name field as mixture product. We can of course select a mixture in mixture dataset or create a new one. To create a new one, again we provide a mixture name. And again, assign a non-specific legal entity owner. You can use the exact concentration or if you use a concentration range, be sure to indicate the relevant operators. Now we can see both components in the updated navigation tree. Let's take a look at the sections generated for the Mixture in Mixture or MIM dataset. The MIM composition document contains a list of all the known substance components. As an example, I will now add one from a dataset I created previously. And add the concentration. The MIM UFI section can be created by adding a new document and making a selection in the regulatory program identifiers. The UFI can be included and the work saved. The MIM supplier document can also be created and you can make a selection from the available suppliers in the list or you can create a new one. If you are creating a new MIM supplier, you will need to enter the relevant information. I will make a selection. The classification of the MIM is required. Again, create a new document. and fill in the relevant information. We can make the selection not classified or the appropriate selections from the pick lists. The final section for the MIM safety data sheet is not required information, but can always be added voluntarily. To include this information, you create a new item,
upload a file and indicate the country and the language. This concludes this tutorial. You can watch other video tutorials for including other information in the notification or if reporting special components such as generic component identifiers and interchangeable component groups. Thank you.